In this video, we're going to be looking at getting started with the Dagger Go SDK. So first of all, we're going to type Dagger Develop SDK Go to specify that we want to use the Go SDK. And when we run this, the Dagger CLI is going to update our Dagger JSON to say that we're using the Go SDK and this module is located in the directory Dagger. So if you look at that directory, we can see a number of files were generated. Most importantly, this main.go. So this main.go contains our function for our getting started module. It's generated some boilerplate functions to help familiarize us with the Dagger SDK. For example, this container echo function that takes in a string argument and it returns a container. So the most important part of this is this DAG is an instance of a Dagger client. So from that DAG, we can create containers. For example, this one that is a container from Alpine Latest. And then with that container, we can run commands using things like with exec to say echo string arg, which is the input to this function. Our second function here is called grepter, where we can pass in a directory and a pattern and grep for that pattern within the directory. And with this example, we can see that we're creating a container for, once again from Alpine Latest, but this time we're mounting a directory into that container and then running a command. If we open our terminal once again and say dagger functions, we can see these two functions available to be called from the CLI. And notice the description of these functions is sourced from this comment from our code. Now, from here, if we want to go ahead and create another function, and this time let's say that we have this index.html file that we want to serve from a container. Let's create a function called web. So we'll say func, and once again, we're extending our getting started type and we'll call this web. And this will take in an input source, which will be a directory. And we will return a container. Now, first, let's use that dagger client. And we'll get a container. And that's going to be from, let's say, Nginx, so that we can serve our static HTML website. And within that container, we can now mount our source. So we can say with directory. And that will be at your share uh, nginx HTML, which is the default location in the nginx container to serve files from. And we'll put source. So within our new function here, we now have an nginx container with our source files in it. And so we can call our function. We can say dagger call web and our input source will be the current directory, which contains our index.html. When this runs, since our function returns a container, we're going to evaluate that pipeline. But with this container, we could do more things. So these commands have been run. But we could also say, if we wanted to, to for example, run this container and be able to access it from our host, we can say as service, now our container is mutated into a service, and we can say that service should be up at ports at 80. So when we run this, once again, it's going to create that container using our uh, function web, and now we can see that it's uh, running Nginx, and if we open a new terminal, and say curl localhost, we can see that it's serving our application. So that's a quick look at the Dagger Go SDK. If you want to learn more, head over to docs.dagger.io. And within the developer guide, there's lots of other things you can learn about the Go SDK, uh, such as secrets, chaining, and much more.